and how many of you have the same fear in this particular room like uh, to face the cameras around this 30 to 40 percent people have the fear of facing camera so this is the topic that we are going to cover today and i am sharing with you on how you can overcome from the fear of facing camera and why you, first of all why you have to share your knowledge on camera because sharing your knowledge is the camera is the vehicle which help you to reach to the people who actually want your knowledge who actually want your information that you have so let's move to the point on four pointers number one is recording the first and most important thing is recording because till the time if i am not overcome from the uh, i am not take the first ever step i am not able to perfect in the particular skill so i want to add one story here is that in around 2020 we have a lockdown and uh, till late night i used to watch youtube videos and some day one video is pop up in my youtube channel which is by how to overcome from the fear of facing camera and in that particular video uh, person mentioned that if you want to overcome from the fear of facing camera wake up right now and record yourself this is what i did i wake up around it's a time around 11:30 to 12 am midnight I wake up. I went to the kitchen and I record myself for 10 seconds. I take three, three to four takes, and I just what I did. I take uh, and talk about myself, I myself religion and my profession. Three to four takes I did, and then I again go and slept it. Slept again. Slept. Why I'm sharing you because this is the first step, and that's what I take. So, somehow I was delayed that video because I was scared, like how I am looking at all those things. But if you want to overcome from the fear of facing camera, record it and keep these videos with you because you are able to document the thing that the first step is this and I done this thing. Now the second thing, think that you are talking with your friend on video call. Now we all are using video calls in today's scenario. Right now because every single one is talking with their loved ones, with their friends on video call. So what you have to do is just turn your on your camera like this and there on the other side there is no one you have to record turn on recording the button hi what you are doing just normal talk like you are talking with one of your friends hi what you are doing what you did today in the lunch or in the dinner in your breakfast this is what you can do so this is the second step that you can apply to overcome from it number three which is think like you are talking in front of mirror right now every single one have this thing in their mind that Hi, uh, today you are looking super awesome, Nirish. And something what you like to do in front of mirror, just do it. And it is a normal human psychology that they do. Anyone can do is uh, they are talking in front of mirror in the room. I do. Yes, <laughs> every single one. So this is what you can do. And uh, last and most important point is: Are you doing justice with your knowledge if you are not sharing this knowledge to the world? The people who actually want it. Are you doing justice? If you know the answer is no, you have to share your knowledge. Just because uh, you think that uh, how I am looking, what kind of people think about me, just because of all this limiting belief, you are not sharing your knowledge, and people get uh, people are not get benefit from your knowledge from your information. And the, every single one is an expert in their industry. Like Tahir is an expert in his business. Rakesh is expert in their business, uh, in their job. Vipul is expert in his industry. So every single one have expertise and one, there is one person who want their knowledge that you have. I am not talking about that you are uh, creating a video, you are publishing a video and around uh, millions of people are watching you. I am not talking, I am only talking about the one person who get benefit from your knowledge. The only one person. This is what, where you are able to make an impact in their life. Right? And one more point here is that whenever the more main motive of this Toastmaster Club is to create more leaders. And how we are going to create more and more leaders? By sharing our knowledge, by sharing our information. Not in front of millions of people. But at least if we are able to make an impact in one person's life, this is what we are able to make an impact. This is where we are able to create changes in people's life. So this is the motive and one quick activity for all of you is just turn, uh, you all have the mobile in your uh, pocket right now, right? 
Turn out your mobile from your pocket, everyone. Turn on your camera and record yourself. Let's do it. Okay. So, say this to yourself. Hi, I am proud of myself. Just turn on your camera and watch in camera, not on me. That today on the Sunday, I am proud of myself. I am wake up early in the morning and prepare, get ready and come here to attend the Toastmaster meetup. And I am proud of myself. That's why I am proud of myself. So that's it. That's why I am proud of Jesus. That's it. Close this session. And if you want to share it on your social platform, do it. This is the first ever step that you take to overcome from the fear of facing camera. So with that note, I am ending my session. Thank you so much.